This is a pretty popular light. I bought this for $20. In fact, I bought two of them each for $20, so $40 total plus tax and shipping. One of them arrived dead to the point where you would plug it in and it would just flash once and shut back off. Now this one seems to be charging just fine. It's not flickering in real life. Uh, anyways, I took the back off. I already took two screws out. I took the back off on the one that was broken, which I'm currently actually using in this video right there. Uh, these are T6 screws. And the back does just pop right off. And these here are the battery leads, obviously coming off of the battery. And what I had done on the previous one, I thought, hmm, I, I wonder if the, if the voltage is good. And so what I had done is just probe the battery voltage here to see if it, you know, had good voltage. There you go, that's 3.69 volts, nice. And the one that I had done, it was like, 2.5 volts, which is too low. But also in the filming of this video and messing around with my uh, load tester and discharging it artificially, too low, that even if the battery was too low, it would eventually charge up on its USB uh, for me, but it may not for you, and you may need to go, come in here and do what I'm gonna show you here in a moment. What I wanted to show <clears throat> was that you could add voltage to get above the uh, the charging circuitry's minimum, where it would just cut out and say, "Hey, hey, dummy, battery's too low." So there I am putting five amps into it at four volts, and. All I'm doing here is <laughs> literally just touching these probes here to put some amps into it. We can see that the uh, the battery lifespan estimate changes as I apply more voltage and not. Okay, um, I guess that's all I wanted to say. That if you have, if you have one of these panels that doesn't charge, uh, first try just leaving it plugged in for a while, maybe it will charge. And if it still doesn't, then take the back panel off and apply some extra voltage to the back. Um, 4.2 volts is a good amount. And you can get that from a uh, bench power supply or probably three AA batteries with some thin wire would get the voltage around in the right range just for, I don't know, 30 seconds just to give the battery enough voltage that the charger circuitry will say, hey, the battery isn't completely dead. Let's give it some charge. So that's all I have to say. Uh, I hope it was helpful. And my uh, <laughs> electronics experience is severely lacking. And please tell me about it in the comments. Hmm, I wonder what this pad here is for, because there's room for something to go there. Almost looks like a USB port. And right here is where the power goes out to the panel. We can see that the entire panel is the back side here that has all of the LEDs on it. Oh, that's what that looks like. Surprisingly, a lot of engineering went into this because the the back panel itself is not just a simple stamped sheet. You know, it's got some actual milling on the back to fit this display screen here. Bzz. Just kidding. Um. Woo, you're spinning around, baby, right around. So I've been also, as an aside, working on a different 
uh, light mount. So this is that three quarter inch lock line I mentioned in the previous video. I'm thinking of actually selling this as a product. Uh, so this is a handle adapter between the lock line and the light. Um, now the lock line is not stiff enough to have really any and yes, this GoPro is mounted on lock line itself. Um, this this lock line is not stiff enough to cantilever out with any more load than this. This is two sections of lock line, so this is about a foot, and I have it on the end of this clamp here. Uh, and so I designed and printed this handle here that you can very quickly you know, put it wherever you want. And the cool thing is since you need an adapter anyways, and somewhere to grab it, and this part here generally doesn't have to be flexible. You know, I made it a handle, so make it longer, you get more reach, and it's a handle. So, uh, let me know if you're interested. I think having the GoPro on the other handle, I realized that this cold shoe mount here, it would be nice if instead of on the end, it had a right angle option too, so I could put the GoPro you know, here, but instead of the GoPro, you know, being rectangular in this direction, it would be rectangular in the other direction. So we'll, we'll see if that goes anywhere. And then, well, okay. Uh, it pops off too, and then it's just a handle. <laughs> I didn't intend for that, but now I have a handle. And this mount here is a little bit loose. There we go. That's better. All right, guys. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, oops, we got some dust in you. These these lights are um, surprisingly good, and I've found that the battery capacity may be lacking, and a lot of them have um, the low battery to begin with uh, charging problems. So there are lots of other lights that you can actually get instead of these. Um, I've been working, or I've been in talks with, uh, do I have it? No. Yes. Here we are. I've been in talks with uh, this company, and they have a sister company under a different name, uh, Viltrux, and We Light, W-E-E-Y-L-I-T-E. -E and they have a similar offering to, to this light. So maybe that's an option if these turn out to be more of a dud uh, and a fad that doesn't last. So, I don't know. I hope that this, I always hope that things are helpful. I try to make helpful videos. Aside from a little bit of shaking and that one was um, nearly dead to begin with. They work great because you can put them you know, anywhere. But then you have to like hold it a little bit to make sure it stops vibrating. <laughs>